Hey guys, welcome back to Chess Hunters. Today, we'll be doing some easy chess puzzles. So let's start. First of all, before I start, I just wanted to tell you that if you, when I start a puzzle, just stop the video and try to think for a moment. Think as long as you want to try to find out what is the correct move. It is not a mistake to think long as this is just a part of learning. Let's start. These are very easy puzzles. So, now you can stop your clock, uh, sorry, video, and start thinking about what the answer can be. Now, let's start. This is a mating net. You can see that the rook is protecting this entire file and not letting the king to move. Now, it is best to give checks and try to checkmate the king. First, we can bring our knight here to take this pawn, as shown here. Now, the king is trapped. He cannot move anywhere. This is protected by the knight and these two uh, squares are protected by the rook. But now, we can give rook g1, which is checkmate, as none of these squares are movable. For the black white king. Let's do the next puzzle. Now, in this position, you may pause the video and see which is the best move. Again, this is also a checkmate. If you have found the correct answer, congratulations. So, you can see the rook and the queen are attacking the h7 pawn which is a very vulnerable pawn as after the king has castled the king is the only protector of this pawn so when we take this with the queen it is checkmate as the king cannot move to any of these squares it is checkmated in his own defense now let's go to the next puzzle you can pause your clock uh, sorry video and think for a moment Again, this is also a checkmate motif. If you have found the correct answer, congratulations. The correct answer is rook to b8. As now, this is also a back rank checkmate. These two pawns blockade the black king and this pawn is attacking the g7 square. So, again, he's uh, he has to move his by a light squared bishop which we can take and deliver checkmate let's go to the next puzzle this is an end game now we have to le uh, learn a new check uh, a new uh, term in the end game so it uh, now we can see that the white king is protecting the white uh, uh, pawn and if it is the white king's move he will be no longer able to protect it as he has to move away from the pawn those are the only legal moves so now we can try to make so that it is his move and he has to move his king. Let's calculate the possibilities. First of all, if you play h4, we'll simply play g5 and it's our move and we will have to move and then he will take our pawn easily. We also are in the same situation. Next, we can calculate possibility of pawn takes. Then he will take back. It is forced. After that, we can play g5 and now it is the white king's move and the white king will lose the pawn. So we can play this. Now he has moved and we can take his pawn easily and prom later promote our pawn. This is also known as Zugzwang. Let's see the next puzzle. 
you can pause the video and try to find the answer. So now we can see that again we might try for a checkmate strategy something with queen g3 a king g3 as now we threaten this checkmate we can uh, see the we can see this move in detail now now we can make this as a candidate for the next move we are going to be playing so if you play queen g3 king g3 now let's see the other possibilities king g1 again checkmate what other moves can be possible he might play rook e6 just to defend his king but then after check again he'll have to move his rook here and then we take the rook easily checkmate so this might be the correct answer now he takes the pawn but we deliver check and checkmate now again we go with the next puzzle you can pause the video and try to think for the correct move. This is a checkmate in one. Have you got it? If you have got it, congratulations. It's a very easy checkmate as you just bring the rook to the d1 square and both these files are controlled by the rook. This is also known as the ladder mate. Usually it is a uh, done in a ladder format with the two rooks giving uh, delivering check one by one to bring it to the last rank but in this position it is directly checkmate next puzzle so in this puzzle you can pause the video and try to think for a correct move have you got it if you have Congratulations. Now we'll start looking for candidate moves. We can take the screen, but then it's of no use because there are two pieces already protecting it. We can take this knight. If we take the knight, the king will have to move. If he moves to the h6 square, Okay, now we can try for taking this knight maybe just to have a material advantage and later win the game because of two minor pieces. Yep. So now we can see this is a battery. Two uh, major pieces forming a battery by working together. The next uh, puzzle as shown here. You can pause the video and try to find the answer. This too is a mate in one. Now let's start. We can see that the white king has only one square to run to if he is given check at this moment. But these two are in one uh, same file. So, since they are in the same file, we can try to use this as a strategy to checkmate. So, it's not checkmate in 1, it's mate in 2. Uh, so, we can simply play this as it takes. Now, it's a back rank checkmate. Uh, sh uh, sorry, not back rank. This is also known as um, the fire... Uh, it's kind of like the back rank, but then it's a file, not a rank. So now here we can see it's a deflection. We just took this pawn so that the white king is deflected into the square. And then we take, uh, uh, play this rook h8 to deliver checkmate here. He's blocked by his own rook over here. Let's go with the next puzzle. Here, this puzzle is a... Pretty easy one. It's a black black to move. Pause the video and try to find the puzzle answer.
If you have found it, congratulations. The spawn takes. It's a very simple uh, position here. Nothing but a hanging piece. Very easy. Black, white has uh, created a huge blunder here. Let's go to the next one. This is the last puzzle we are going to be looking for this video. In the next videos will be looking at more harder puzzles. So now we can see that the that you can pause the video and try to find the answer. Now I'm going to be revealing the answer to everybody. So now in this position we can see that one of the pieces is hanging. This is just a hint for you guys. Again you can pause the video and try to find out which piece is hanging. Now we can see this knight is hanging. So we just simply take the knight and he gives check again. Now we can play. Now the, this is the tricky part. If you move the king, the problem is he will take the bishop. And we cannot move the bishop as it is check here. So this is a kind of double attack. He is attacking both the king and the bishop. So we can defend both of them at the same time. You can pause the uh, video and try to find out which move. It is a very simple move. It is rook to f7. Now he is forced to take. If he takes the bishop, we will also take with the rook. So now he takes the rook, and we can see that the rook is defended with the knight. So no problem. We just take the knight. Uh, sorry, uh, the rook. Now this uh, actually shows a fork. It's a kind of a um, rook fork because the rook is, uh, was attacking both the bishop uh, and the king uh, over here as shown. Here we can see hanging piece, uh, fork, and then we just save both of them at the same time. So that's all for this video. Uh, we'll be coming back next video with some other cool uh, tricks or we'll be teaching you tips. Please do subscribe to our channel. We'll be making more videos. And uh, thank you guys.